That's another one of those shoulder screws. Oh, look at there. Got it out. Oh boy, now I can put the... Golly, what a mess. All those bearings fell out there. I'm going to have to get this thing off of there. Find all those little bearings and put them back in there. Okay, I've got this thing now where it's... I've got a whole bunch of little pieces here. And of course, back then they didn't throw nothing away. So you can see where the keys have been hitting this thing coming up to make their mark on the platen, on the roller I guess you'd want to call it. All right, but now, before I get ready to start putting this thing together again, I got to put all those bearings back in there that are scattered all over this table. Okay, I'm a, I've got some grease in there, and now I'm going to try to get those bearings back in there. This would definitely be a job for my wife. Or I should say it's not a computer type problem. Got me a magnetic screwdriver. Slap them in there. Well, you won't bet I come up with one short. I need to stick my... gear thing in there. Okay. Now, we're going to go on the back side. Might have to go out and get some more grease. this outside piece on. Okay, and then we need this little butter bear. Okay, we've got it on. Have to get in there to tighten up that little screw, get this grease out of the way. Ouch! I knew I was gonna do that eventually. I see blood. I know better than that, too. I hate it when I do that. Alright, well, let me see if I can finish tightening this screw up. Don't do it again, Lee. Don't do it again. Okay. Got my finger fixed. Got the bearings back in there. I know I got grease on on this thing, but the bad thing is, is I'm missing some bearings. I found a couple of them on the floor last night, so we're going to try to see if we can't put a couple of more in there but in any case this little doodad right here this this circular thing and this little thing here this whatchamacallit well they both fit in and let me show you here uh, okay that dumaflachi fits up in here and that little slot fits right there and I didn't realize these are very important because these keys, but once you get that part out, you can take these keys out, like if they're wore out, 
and if I can get this thing to pull out again well anyway it keeps these keys as you can see I'm jumping out of the jumping out of the track in there see if I can't get you a better picture of that in other words there's they're probably just helped in just by that whatchamacallit thing sitting in here well the next thing we're going to take out is these uh, ribbon holders and there's there's two screws right here one there and one there so I've got them loose and it's this this is this is how you feed the ribbon goes in one way but you can push a button to rewind it so boy howdy let's see what happens because what I'm trying to get out now is this massive key holder thing right here I'm trying to get this whole thing out so it's not going to come out until I get these two ribbon holders out of the way okay I've got both of these things loose but you can't get to anything which means this key, this key carrier must come out first so what I've done there's four screws there's one I've already got that one out this one over here now I've got this one and this one to get out so we're going to take them out and find out what happens Oh boy. We got all kinds of stuff falling apart on this thing. This little ribbon thing come out. Must go right up in here. That's what changes the ribbon from black to red. So I got to remember to put that back in there. But now, okay, we got it all loose. It's ready to come out. But we got all these things here. I don't know if you can see it, but all these things here have to come off of this, these keys, unless I haven't figured out how they come off of there yet. All right, I figured out how these things come out. Okay, let's see if we can do it again. Okay, I have to go up and then down and then push it off. Okay, up, pull it out and down and pull it off. Up there. See that top one was over that pin. I mean, I'll be able to show you better when I get this thing out of there. But uh, I got to pull every one of these out before I get this assembly, that thing back there, out of here. Up, pull back, down, unhook it. This was probably built as an assembly and they had certain jigs and things to set this thing up. So once they set it in the machine, it was done. They didn't have to fool with it because putting that thing together you wouldn't want to tinker around with this with all those little do whammies and gadgets and springs and screws and everything else but now we're down to the other rest of the keys that's the only thing that's left on this thing is just the keys and we're not going to take all the keys out we're just going to take just a couple just to kind of see how they work have you ever wondered what a bunch of typing keys look like laying on a table 
they must have just brought these things over in handfuls and given them to the people on the assembly line and said here's your keys here's your plate put them together now, I don't know if they did that or not but well if they did I'm sure they stayed busy for years because this is be what's known as a good technical job because there's not very many people that would have been able to do it back then until they learned it and then when they did learn it then it took special people to continue on to do it so you can see how how much these things have worn you can see how much these things have worn over the years but And just think if they accidentally bent one, putting one in, the old boy and got it all together and then to come to find out they had a, a bent keyframe. Okay. Well we finally had to we finally got this thing out of here. What we had to do was first thing we had to get this tab, I mean this uh the shaft out that, that switches from red to black ribbon. And then we had to push them. Uh, get that out of the way. Then we had to push a few keys so that we could get these gears past it. But once we got it out, you can see this is quite a piece of work. All these gears and springs and I mean I'm not going to take this apart because it's it's a it's a setup assembly. You know to get it back in there. I'll show you what this handle's for.